That was enough. Hello and welcome to Le Chard Alfian, the end of day four, stage one. <sighs> yes, there is a spectacular view behind us and I will tell us a bit of information or you about the town or town whatever. On the 10th of April 1945, Allied soldiers launched Operation Duck against Italian troops dug into various fortifications in the area. Uh, this site was the site of a barrel which included the use of flamethrowers on enemy positions. A destroyed tank, which we are on now, still remains as a memorial to the battle. Yeah. The roads here were nice. They were very sick. The last road was very narrow. Um, no barriers, but it was challenging, yeah. good, sick scenery, really, really good. But the uh, surface quality wasn't too great. The surface quality was a bit poor, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm standing on a World War II US Stuart M5 tank. Um, you can see the star on the front of it. They've welded a lot of metal in there, so you can't actually get in the tank, unfortunately. But uh, you can stand on it. And uh, there's even some of the original rubber on the tracks down here, which is surprising considering it's for at least 70 years old now. It's 70 years since D-Day. So this, well, yeah, this tank would have been here less, just less than 70 years, I imagine. Okay, so here we are at Chateau de Weber. <laughs> um, we're going to have a quick look around this abandoned hut. See if we can get in. Yeah, I haven't seen any definite bullet holes. No. A tree growing in there. Potentially, maybe. I mean, it's not as if there's a bullet still. Yeah, well, that's what I thought we might be able to see some shells and stuff. It's a fine one. Maybe loads of people have been here or something. Yeah, found them all. Yeah. These ruins are potentially known as the Camp de Cabans Vieles. they got gates, but they've bolted both ends. Bastards. Stop them all Yeah. <laughs> well, we can climb right through the window, can't we? Oh. Okay. Take two. Action. So there's a nice view behind them. Um, let's continue. Yeah, look at that. I mean, if you didn't know that a battle had taken place, you'd think it was just some old building. Normal right? ruins, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they didn't use artillery. Yeah. Like bits like this would be where we're most likely to find bullets. Yeah. And stuff. Ooh. 
Could that be a holder bullet? Maybe. Need some rusty metal, holding some metal. Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, look at them. Yeah, those are bullet holes. Definitely bullet holes. That's definitely a bullet hole. Out the light, there's another one out there. Nice. Well, that's bullet holes. Yeah. Not just some story they made up about <laughs> an old yeah. building. Reversible. And we are back. That's it. And there are several more. Yeah. Very much the same all around us. Some in worse states, states of repair, of repair. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. So that was uh Le what was it called? Le Char de Arthon or Arthion or something. All right. yeah. Very nice. Very nice. A little further around the loop, we found a site of a large World War II fortification known as Le Fort de Plan Caval, and it shows lots of evidence of a large battle. Also known as the Ouvrage Plan Caval, this is a French fortification that formed part of the Petite Line Maginot, or the Little Maginot Line in English. Proper destroyed here. This fortification was reportedly never lost by the French, although the damage the defences have sustained would indicate that a concerted effort was made by the Italians to take it. Known as the Circuit de Arfion, there are numerous different fortifications to explore in the area, such as Le Fort de Mille's Forches, Le Fort de la Forca, Le Fort de Plan Caval, and La Fortress de Arfion de la Lin Maginot des Alpes. Hey, nice.
Um, so here we are, um, just down the road from the Shah de Arfion, whatever it was called, and we found another fort. Um, well, this actually looks like a fort. So it's, a, it's got a bunker. Actual World War II fortifications. You can see the steel or the, the bullet holes in it. Um, big, big one, right in the window here. Yeah. So obviously, that was quite a hit. Yeah. So I wouldn't like it to have been in the bunker. No. <laughs> and that hit. Uh, and then on the way up, we met some French guy who told us... Um, if you give these blue flowers to a lady, they will love you forever. Yeah. So I'm taking some home for a lady. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Um, and the views are very nice from here as well. The views are amazing, especially this turret. You can just see all around and the views are just amazing all of the way around. So Grand Spectacular maybe. Something like that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. If you've liked uh, what you've seen so far, be sure to subscribe for more amazing content.